On to news now from the world of business, from the financial crisis to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Britain has borrowed and spent its way out. The debt bill, it's now becoming a concern. Absolutely. Now, since the pandemic, the UK's national debt has risen by more than 40% to clearly uh, a lot of more numbers that we're talking about here. That's approximately £2.6 trillion pounds or $3.3 trillion, surpassing its annual economic output for the first time since 1961. A significant dependence on index-linked bonds during a period of rising inflation. That means Britain will pay more to service creditors than any other major nation here. And big spending has helped the Conservative-led government to weather recent defeats as well. But it threatens to dampen investment and throw the UK into a years-long downward spiral. Now, without action, the Office for Budget Responsibility warned last month that debt may reach three times the GDP in 50 years. The outlook has raised doubts regarding the UK's credit rating after Fitch stunned Wall Street and the White House by downgrading the US government debt. A UK downgrade would damage Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's efforts to regain fiscal confidence after Liz Truss's unfunded tax cuts caused a bond market catastrophe a year ago. Bond sell-offs amid aggressive rate rises by the Bank of England to curb inflation are adding to the strain here as well. The 10-year benchmark yield reached 4.7% this week. That's the highest since 2008. And some of the poorest performing developed markets this year are UK bonds. Sunak and Labour leader K. Starmer, his likely challenger for Prime Minister next year, have limited alternatives. The National Health Service is near a collapse. Economic growth is expected to stay flat next year and taxes are at a 70-year high. Now, the three big credit rating organisations here will revise the UK valuations over the next four months. Moody's and S&P Global Ratings will announce their UK outlook on the 20th of October followed by Fitch on the 1st of December.